It's a top private boys' school with a dark, sinister past. Rocked by a history of scandals, questions are again being asked, with more former students alleging abuse. My biggest concern is that this is just the tip of the iceberg. It's a prestigious private school with a very dark past. A former teacher at Blackfriars Priory has been accused of sexually assaulting students. For almost two decades, Blackfriars Priory School has been dealing with its sins of the past. We are disturbed about it. We feel a deep personal regard for the students if that is the case and we're going to do everything that we can to do something about it. Among the hundreds of good teachers who worked here, a disturbing number of predators have lurked in these grounds as well. Ronald William Hopkins was a serial pedophile convicted in 2006 of abusing five boys aged between 12 and 16, mostly while teaching at Blackfriars. Stephen Stockdale Hall, another repeat offender, convicted in 2005 and again in 2015 of historical child sex offences. Among his nine victims who attended Blackfriars was a boy aged under 12. Sentenced to 10 years jail for his first convictions, a judge described him as a predator who targeted boys from dysfunctional backgrounds. The kids that really needed a leg up, the kids that weren't doing so well, which speaks to a very predatory, abusive nature. Another priest, Father Albert Brian Davis, died in 2007 before he could stand trial on 17 charges of abusing seven boys in the 1950s. For a school with such a history, this statue unveiled in 2017 of St Dominic holding a piece of bread near a small boy was deemed to be in poor taste and covered up before being replaced. Last year, Blackfriars School principal launched a new inquiry into the potential sins of its past, hiring a private investigator to re-examine decades of school records for any historical transgressions. The former teachers now under a new spotlight are Joseph William Waygood, also known as Brother Cyril, and Father Martin Wallace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Wallace was a former principal at the Blackfriars School in Adelaide and is still serving as a Catholic priest in Victoria. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours he left the Blackfriars School around 2002. Father Wallace has now become the focus of fresh civil court proceedings over an incident alleged to have occurred on a school camp in the months before he left. In an affidavit filed in the South Australian Supreme Court, the alleged victim, who was 12 at the time, claims Father Wallace exposed himself in a shower block at a camp on Kangaroo Island. He also claims another teacher witnessed the alleged incident. He screamed and said words to the effect of, get the f out of here. I do not know who he directed these words at. However, I quickly sprinted out of the change rooms. Father Martin Wallace denies these allegations and has never been charged with any child sex offence. The former student didn't tell anyone about the incident but a report filed within the school is what led to a private investigator contacting him more than two decades later. The former student was informed by the private investigator that an internal inquiry was conducted by the school after the alleged incident. Remarkably, the former student says he was never interviewed. Something like this shouldn't go to an internal inquiry, it should immediately go to the police. I mean, a school and a church is not the judge, jury and executioner. Andrew Carpenter from Webster's Lawyers is representing the alleged victim. How do you believe that internal inquiry was handled at the time? Well, he, he wasn't interviewed, he wasn't spoken about this. Matters like this warrant serious investigation and a school is not equipped to do their own in-house investigation. More alleged victims have come forward with a total of four now initiating civil court proceedings against various former staff. One accuses Joseph Waygood of sexual abuse between 1992 and 1996. 
alleging that when he reported it to the principal, Father Martin Wallace, he was threatened with detention and told, don't you ever say no to a teacher again. Waygood previously stood trial in 2019 on child sex charges, but was acquitted. A judge describing his behaviour towards the complainant as unusual, if not suspicious. After being cleared of those charges, Joseph Waygood is apparently now in Thailand teaching ch English to children. Adam Washburn is a black belt martial artist who started the Fighters Against Child Abuse organisation. I really can't stress enough how much organisations like the Black Friars need to be completely transparent in their handling of these cases. They need to think about their past students more than their name, their reputation and their assets. Black Friars declined our request for interview but in a previously issued media release said it was deeply saddened by the allegations, had offered support to the former student and were cooperating fully with a legal request to hand over files relating to a former staff member. They provided some documents, uh, but when we requested they provide a certain specific kind of documents, uh, the school's um, compliance uh, effectively came to a halt. Any organisation that wants to move forward and clear their name needs to show complete transparency, complete integrity, and say, this isn't us anymore. Andrew Carpenter believes there could be more alleged victims still finding the courage to speak up. I'm concerned that there are a lot of other students that suffered horrendous forms of abuse that haven't come forward yet and that if the school had taken an active approach many years ago that there'd be a lot of innocent children who would still have their innocence. It's important we remember these serious new allegations haven't been proven and we're not suggesting they are. We reached out to Father Wallace and Joseph Waygood for comment. Neither responded.